If you thought the NVIDIA ARM deal was a little bit crazy, get a load of this. What's your minimum specification? So a quick short video about this news from reported in Bloomberg. It seems that uh, Sci-5, the company that's behind the RISC-V architecture, that open source the RISC-V architecture, uh, Sci-5's uh, profit model is they create RISC-V cores, license them out, and help the RISC-V ecosystem. Up and coming company uh, seems to be very important. A lot of people are liking what they're doing and the open sourceness of the architecture allows companies like Western Digital or NVIDIA and others to make their own cores around the architecture and essentially optimize them for what they need. So imagine my surprise today to learn or to hear from Bloomberg as reported in Bloomberg that Intel is making an offer to buy Sci-5. And here's the article over at Bloomberg. Uh, Chipmaker Sci-5 is said to draw Intel takeover interest. Uh, Intel offered to acquire Sci-5 for more than $2 billion, talks so early, and Sci-5 could choose to remain independent. So Sci-5 is a startup, and it says here that Intel has offered to acquire them for more than $2 billion, um, but the person, the source is asking not to be identified because the matter is private. Sci-5 has been in talks with potential advisors on how to handle the takeover, and the company has received takeover offers from multiple partners other than Intel. Um, because Sci-5 is so adept with RISC-V and uh, their core designs are being widely used, uh, Tens Torrent, where Jim Keller is, uh, is uh, licensing the X280 core from Sci-5 for their next generation architecture. I'm not surprised that a company like Sci-5 has got lots of interest from other companies wanting to acquire them. The fact that Intel is the name here is what's uh, what's interesting. You know, discussions are early. Uh, Sci-5 was last valued at around 500 million when it raised funds in 2020. A representative for Intel declined to comment, or Sci-5 declined to comment. Uh, let's go to Crunch Base and put in Sci-5. Uh, so, it's 15 employee profiles, they've gone through Series E funding, which means they've gone through five rounds of funding, uh, and they've raised 190 million. So, you know, its evaluation of 2 billion is probably about right. Uh, yeah, they're probably not making any revenue, and the point of acquiring them is most likely to do, uh, to acquire the expertise more than anything else, I guess. <sighs> the thing is, so the whole point about RISC-V is that it's open source, that anybody can use it. If Intel buys Sci-5, that doesn't stop that as much as, say, uh, NVIDIA buying ARM means that NVIDIA has control over the ARM ecosystem. Intel buying Sci-5 wouldn't do that. Now, don't get me wrong, Sci-5 has a lot of push when it comes to how new, um, how new RISC-V features are defined, but they're not the be-all and end-all. Um, Intel could very much just come in to the RISC-V ecosystem and, you know, do their own thing. Unfortunately, that kind of detracts away from their x86 market. But Intel plays in a lot of markets. I could see why Sci-5 would be a good buy for Intel, um, both on the let's do products with Sci-5 built in, let's perhaps replace some of our old microcontrollers there, but also from the sense of perhaps limiting the competition in using Sci-5's designs. It'd be interesting to see how that played out. Um, now, no comments from either company. So at the minute right now, this is just news reported on Bloomberg and a few other um, websites. So exactly when Intel and Sci-5 make more of an announcement, we'll find if this is more real or not. I mean, companies speaking to acquire Sci-5, yeah, definitely believe that. The fact that Intel is one of them, yeah. At the minute, sci is cheap, I guess. Um, going another five years down the line, they might be a lot more expensive. Um, Intel does have money to invest in these sorts of companies because uh, their revenues are high, and just having more weapons in their arsenal might help with what they do in the future. Then again, if you have too many weapons, you might spend too long deciding which is the best weapon to use. Uh, so I'd love to hear your thoughts. 
what would happen if Sci Five went to Intel? Um, I think that if that happens, they'd have to be hands off because they were too hands on with Altera, and Altera is only now getting you know pushing back up towards where they were. Xilinx has kind of run away with a large portion of the market, so they would have to remain hands off and then leverage the ability of Sci Five. Though Intel could absolutely just pour money into it to improve that ecosystem along and uh, eventually get their own risk five cores that are nice and powerful for what they need them for. Yeah. I kind of wanted, I kind of want um, Sci Five to at least remain independent for a while, for a while longer. Um, like I say, if they remain independent for another five years with no acquisitions, then that might just help push the risk five ecosystem along in a more neutral capacity. So here's a question for you all. I know some of my audience are engineers. Are you working on RISC-V? Perhaps you've got a Sci-5 core in your design. You don't have to tell me which one. It's probably under NDA, but please leave a note in the comments if you're working on something like this or you want to see it really take off.